Fire Dough Dream Team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Australia versus America Part Two. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my god! Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to film this video again because so many people enjoyed it and I wanted to do a part two so I could further explain what my experience has been like in Australia so far being an American. I have lived here for almost three years. So I have experienced everything. Sorry, I'm battling a yeah. cold, so I'm a oh. bit congested. I hate, I'm rarely sick, so I hate being sick when colds or allergies or anything like that. I'm, I'm just a big baby when it comes to sickness because I don't get sick often at all. Experienced everything. Sorry, I'm battling a cold, so I'm a bit congested. But anyways, we will get on words. First, before I go on, I want to make it clear that these are my observations. These are my I experiences. Everyone may have their different experiences when they go off and explore on their own. You always got to give that disclaimer. My personal experiences. This is no. You always got to give a disclaimer before these videos. These are what I have come across. So please don't take anything personally. Or if you have had a different experience, that is great. And please share below. I would love to hear your experiences too. If you agree with me or disagree with me. So the most, the biggest difference I've noticed um, is that things are called different things here. Mm. So people will look at you funny when you call something else something that's called something different here. For mm. example, when you go to your car and you open the trunk and oh, you call it a trunk. Well, it's not a trunk. It's a boot here. So they I will look you. at you as I if, you. I don't know what you're talking about. That is a foreign language. So you have to. I got to Australia. I be learning. I be learning. Hey, hey. I, I, I can speak a little bit of Australian English. A little bit of Australian slang. slang. I, I can speak a tad. I got you. To call it a boot in order for them to know what you're talking about. And that's just one of hundreds of examples. So that is one of the hardest things that I've had to learn living I feel that. is I feel changing that. my vocabulary that I learned and yeah. changing it so that people here understand what I'm actually um. trying to convey. So what I actually want. So when I say I'm going to go to the gas station, Bill, you're looking you're going to the servo or the petrol station. Okay, you like you go. Why do you need gas? What's gas? It's petrol, and you're going to the servo. And, Come on now. And you know, so I had to learn to say, oh, I'm going to go get petrol at the mm -hmm. service station because that's the same thing as I'm going to get gas at the gas station. Yeah. But I in got order you. for them to not look at you like you're crazy. So I have learned. And I ain't even lived in Australia. I ain't even lived in Australia. I done picked all this up through videos. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I ain't even need to go out there to, to, to learn. You feel me? Keep it going. That in order for them to not look at you like you are an alien and to ask where you're from, to just go with the flow and talk like they do here. There you go. Another huge difference is the volume of people's voices. Americans mm. are very loud. And we I are. never understood this until I lived here and that I didn't notice that my jokes were kind of loud and that mm. nobody around me was laughing. So I didn't realize that, wow, I, I maybe I am louder than most people in this bar. So then I realized I had to tone it down a bit. People know you're an outsider, you're not Australian, when you aren't on the same humor level as them. Yeah. Australians are very laid back. Not everybody, this is a generalized statement, but yeah. It's, it's different. So you have to tone it down. I've learned that you can't walk into a cafe and be loud. And I went over this in the part one of this video, that being loud doesn't get you anywhere here because people Facts. just go, oh, she's an American. They're really loud. Yeah. So I've learned. <laughs> like just immediately off. Loud, that's an American quality. She's, she's too, oh, she's American. No, don't mind her. She's an American. 
Uh, but yeah, we are loud. I, and I, I feel like as, as I didn't notice until I started watching these videos and all these different countries saying that Americans are loud. And if everybody's saying that at some point, you got to be loud. If everybody's saying they got to be true. Uh, and so I noticed like when I'm hanging around friends or anything and like we're trying to be quiet, uh, maybe because somebody's sleeping or we're, we're trying to keep it down like. And they're still like they still get really loud during certain, and I'm like, shh, 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 calm down. I'm like, calm down, I right, calm. Uh, but I noticed, yeah, okay. Us Americans, we're, we're just a loud, loud nature of people. That lesson. Another huge cultural difference I've noticed is manners, manners, mm. manners, manners. Something that we Americans lack in. Ooh when comparing to other countries. Okay. So when Talk I first came here, uh, people would say, pardon, pardon me, instead of, excuse me, excuse it me. was pardon. Um, and, and instead of saying, when someone asks you a question and you don't understand it, you don't say what, go, you say pardon. Americans say, what? What was mm -hmm. that? It comes off as very rude here. And when I would say something that someone else didn't understand, they would say pardon. And I realized that sounds so much nicer. And every yeah. time someone asks for something, it's please and thank you. It's every time. Whereas, yeah, I say, I don't say please. I say, yeah, that'd be great. I'd say, oh, sure. I would never say please and thank you. And my partner's family that lives here was like, you need to say please and thank you instead of, yeah, sure. Of, learned a lot of manners here and also yeah i feel like please and thank you i'll say that for the most part uh whenever i'm getting, getting anything uh yeah please thank you i appreciate it uh but i i feel like sometimes i probably would say yeah sure uh that's that sounds like oh you want something from here oh it sounds good to me <laughs> uh and so um but but for the most part i do say please and thank you the what thing yeah i don't I, it would pardon does sound a lot more polite and nicer than like what 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 I bro what are you saying like I don't understand that excuse me here is kind of rude I would excuse say me is rude I don't think excuse me would be rude ex like ex I was just saying like excuse me I'm sorry but and also excuse me here is kind of rude I would say excuse me when I'm getting through a crowd or excuse yeah. me when I can't hear somebody and they just I had a woman come up to me and say that was rude when I was at wow. a cafe so yeah I've, I've really brushed up on my manners living here so yeah practice your manners <laughs> their cultural difference is like I touched upon in the first point is just different vocabulary so yeah, there's quite a that. few differences. I will list a few for you so you can get a feel for, uh, let's say it's another language. We'll call it English Australian. So a trunk is a boot. A garage what? is a garage. Gas is petrol. petrol. A bathroom or a restroom. Is it, oh, dang, it popped up before I could say it. toilet, yeah. Is a toilet or it's a dunny. Girl is a Sheila. Love. Guy is a bloke. A friend is a mate. Afternoon. Oh, I don't know why I said a bloke. Oh, okay. I got it wrong. That's cool. That's cool. All right, well, Arvo, I knew that one. A sandwich is a sando. Sand You're going to say, it's a sando. I'm going to have a sandwich in the afternoon. I'm going to have a sando, sando and Arvo. Arvo. Sounds a bit weird. Sando. Sando. That's just, I don't know about sando. I don't know how I feel about sando. Sandwich, sando. Hmm. Bathing suit are swimmers or bathers here. Tracksuit pants are tracky dacks. Love that Tennis name. shoes are runners, which cool. actually makes more sense than tennis shoes or sneakers. Ketchup That's... is tomato sauce or tomato sauce, I should say. You know, tomato, <laughs> potato, potato. McDonald's yeah. is Macca's here. It's even on the branding. It's even on all the cups <laughs> and everything. Shrimps Macca's. are prawn. prawn. Prawns. True. Fair dinkum. I like that. I could go on and on. Just a Fair lot income. of differences. There's a lot of similarities in a way that, you know, people are people and people are nice. It's a really great welcoming culture.
It's very influenced by the U.S. Our restaurants, um, it's a bit more multicultural here than it is in the U.S. But basically, you know, people here are, I find, a bit more, they'll talk to you on the streets. Mm -hmm. It's a very welcoming culture. They want you here. But saying that in the similarities, there's also a lot of differences. Australia is very European influenced as well. It's a Mm. very unique place. Everyone here is so chill. I love it. I've been here for almost three years and I will never, ever, ever move back, I don't think. Mm. With that, I think we will end here. And if you want me to do a part three, I can. There are so many cultural differences. I could go on for, I could go on for ages. Every day I learn something new. There's always a new cultural difference that I notice or something that is different in Australia that I would that I think is missing in America or something that in America we have that Australia needs. So that sums up all of my cultural differences that I have experienced here. And in saying that, these are my experiences. So if you are planning a trip to Australia, if you are planning on, if you want to come, if you don't have the money but one day you want to go, it is possible. You can come here. If you really work for it, you can do it. But I don't. I want you to take my statements lighthearted. I want you to come mm. here and form your own opinion. Yes, be aware like of the that. different vocabularies and the different mannerism. Come here and make it your own. Come here and you know experience what I'm experiencing. Broaden your horizons. Travel is so good for the soul. It is so good for the mind. It's op- it opens your mind to new things. I never knew places like this existed in the world. Uh, I come from a small town in Ohio where you know beach is 12 hours away and yeah now I live 10 minutes from the beach and you know it's a magical magical place from the beach being 12 hours to 10 minutes sounds a lot better thanks for watching guys and if you want further advice or you want to hear from me again subscribe to my channel I'm going to be sharing my story more and sharing my experiences I've had here if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up I would appreciate it greatly I will see you guys next time bye no I think that was a definitely cool video definitely awesome you got to hear some of the difference between the uh, two countries you got to hear some of the similarities between the two countries and I want I, I do want to experience uh, Australia for myself one day I don't know to live, but I might get over there and be like, just freak that. I'm not going back. Uh, but uh, I do want to at least uh, go there for vacation, travel there, enjoy it for about a week or two at least. Uh, but I just got to build up my funds and then I can go experience all you awesome Aussies down under. But that's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, d Out.